Gemini, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your Jan 8 to 14 a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals, you can reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email as usual. Also, the white previous spells, and we have manifestation crystals as well. Do check out my Instagram and subscribe to my channel. I enigma if your sun moon rising venus or mercury in scorpio or dealing with one don't forget to subscribe to another channel of mine which is i enigma scorpio i'm coming up with more updates on my hindi channel so do sub subscribe to hindi channel if you know hindi and uh, these channels are not uh, mine they're basically yours because i do it for you and these are free readings so do subscribe Instagram, I'm coming up with free Jan predictions, so stay tuned over there as well. Gemini, what's coming from a 214? Let's see the messages for you. <clears throat> hmm. Major wands, the four of wands. The nine of swords. Oh. There are two things that I can see over here, Gemini, is that you're getting yourself distracted from your major goal. I think that your major goal is something that's set in your mind. But there are little things that you're getting distracted with just for the moment of enjoyment. You want to try it. You want to like get into it. And then that might affect you. Um mentally i feel like you might feel like you're doing everything but you're not feeling good or you're still feeling that sort of an anxiety maybe because you still remember someone from the past but the truth is that if you're trying to be the jack of all trades if you're trying to put your hands into trying out different things that are really not even in your vibration that is why you're feeling this kind of um down you know uh, what is that called like you feeling like you're being drained and not feeling good about yourself you're mentally very uh, tired and you want a break but you don't know how so somewhere I feel like you're still there you know your goal is still sitting there looking at you and waiting for you to touch that okay but you might be sulking into something like you may have memories from the past or you want to dive into some new things so that you can make new friends or you can just excite yourself. But that's very short lived because in the end of the day, you're not feeling like you've reached your goal point. And that may make you feel like you need to go back in the past and start something from scratch. So if you have a goal in your mind and you're getting yourself distracted by doing multiple other things or just something that makes you happy for the moment, I feel you may need to stop and rethink, okay? That's something that might not be resonating with each one of you, but that's something that is very important as a message for someone or a few people out there. Then I'm having this six of cups energy. What I am feeling is that Gemini, you definitely are moving forward despite of those distractions. I'm still seeing you doing well. I'm still seeing you moving forward in life. I'm seeing you taking definitely one step ahead of what you were before. But there is someone from the past that is reaching out to you. Okay, and it's going to tell you that they've been looking at you they've been checking on your social media and they've been seeing you doing something or the other but they know that you don't miss them and that makes them sad so yeah i'm seeing a message from the past arriving gemini tree of swords the world you're about to get the final closure I feel this message from the past person who is looking at you and it's kind of like uh, you guys are in no contact but they're still keeping like an eye on you. I feel there's a message from the past coming in where you guys are definitely going to pour all your heart out, whatever hurt you, whatever, wherever you have felt disrespected and um you know hurt and you've cried you are going to spell out everything to this person i feel like that is going to bring about a final closure in your life because i don't think gemini for most of you have 
yet uh, had a proper closure so this is coming towards you and you will be ending this i feel yes you are not there but this is hurting someone from the past is trying to fix things but you know what once you're meeting or having a last talk with this person is going to clear that leftover energy that you're still having somewhere lingering with you once that's over i'm seeing you starting afresh because with, this is 2023 jan and this is a new beginning and i'm definitely seeing what a best way to start a new year gemini where you're no longer you're no longer wanting to go back you're no longer expecting anything from the past so here the world and the queen of pentacles is more about you have recognized or you're going to become more powerful in your endeavor I'm also seeing your money doubling, tripling and four times or five times. You can go any boundaries. I'm definitely seeing you might be traveling maybe to a different country or planning or is like you're reaching out to the wider people, like wider number of people for the appreciation, for the recognition of your work. And that is why your prosperity, the money, the abundance is coming to you. That is why it's growing. I'm seeing you might get a major honor from your work from your boss for whatever you've done there's a promotion there's a high or whatever it is i'm seeing definitely there is major growth happening in your money matters i'm seeing you're feeling abundant you're feeling recognized you're feeling popular you're feeling famous it's like you have built a niche for yourself i feel that's when this closure happens because somewhere i feel like to avoid those past memories you're trying to distract yourself by doing random things but it's okay for a moment i feel like it's not gonna affect you on a larger scale because in the end of the day when this closure happens i'm seeing you starting a complete new chapter where it's it's all about you your fame your popularity the recognition the appreciation the money the hit game it's like you want to be the best so that's why your real journey will start now i feel that might not if it's not happening in jan i'm definitely seeing it happening in either march or april Some of you, there's a Pisces coming in or you guys are into these things, into tarot, okay? You might be doing it yourself. All right. Someone over here, sorry, someone over here is not happy with your with your success and is trying to poke you or trying to have a sneak peek in what's going on in your life. There's someone that is very jealous of your growth and is wanting to disrupt you. I feel you know who this person is. Maybe this is a Pisces that may not have uh, good thoughts for you and may make you feel disappointed and you may have to leave and take a space from someone that you call as friend someone's truth is going to come out which is going to make you so sad and that that's where i feel like you may, may need a space and that space is going to bring about new learning i feel you're learning something new there's something about like you're done with the same old thing i don't know what you're doing but it's like you're done with the same old thing you have been like should i leave this if there's something in your mind that you're thinking like should i leave this or should i take on should i leave this or should i take on i'm seeing you leaving that okay especially because of the people you don't feel them appreciating what you were doing and finally starting to learn something that really brings about that sense of security and you know that you're yourself alone enough to appreciate or to get that kind of success that you're looking for you don't need people to uh, validate things it could be another message right but i'm definitely seeing you spacing yourself from the negative minded people have been creating a lot of confusion in your head so i feel yes you are taking space you're becoming more gentle to yourself you're meditating you're being calm and that is making you also come 
uh, to new ideas and explore yourself and you might go for a higher study or you might do something that really makes you feel happy in the success that's coming in some of you there's a Virgo or a Pisces that you're getting away from or letting go of or a Scorpio okay Yes, you're putting an end to a relationship from the past. I feel like that past person. Uh, but I'm also seeing, you know, once you've started this new chapter, I'm seeing this death in the eight of five of ones. It's like you're also clearing off the negative people that that say that they're your friends out of your life. Someone maybe a Scorpio that you're leaving behind. And from there on, the real transformation is taking place for you, Gemini. Real transformation is taking place. So, what is else going to happen? Oh my gosh, that is what I was looking for. Okay. All right, got it. I'm seeing you not very open or wanting more space from the relationship partner. Like you, you're okay with wanting to start afresh, having a new relationship, but you need some space. I feel like you're not open about um, diving right into the relationship once it's over from the past. Somewhere you're like, you're so much in love with yourself. Everything is fine, but you might still freak out when someone brings in a proposal towards you. It might make you feel like, I need some time because of whatever I've gone through. So my message to you is just go with the flow because you definitely deserve someone that's loving. I'm seeing a Scorpio Pisces Cancer that's a fresh person. <laughs> a brand new person that's coming into your life. And uh, you might meet them when you're traveling more. When you're like also a number two. When you're exploring your potential. When you're doing your own thing. You know, while you're traveling. So I'm seeing them making more efforts and I'm seeing you running away. It's like a runner and a chaser thing. Your person is not a natural chaser, but you make them chase. I feel that's something that my, that needs to stop here because I'm seeing you not being able to trust this new love or not being able to completely, you know, uh, be in a relationship. So you will give them a hard time somewhere. You may give them a hard time and that is not cool. Gemini. So here I'm seeing definitely that someone is waiting on you. Someone is, you know, wanting to propose you and is making efforts towards you. But you need to. Uh, what is that called? You need to like accept. You need to embrace. You need to receive. You might not receive from the outside, but you're definitely receiving uh, from the universe. But you're not receiving from the a person that's coming for a relationship, I'm seeing. Okay? Something is still making you worried. Gemini. Another reason is you found comfort in your own space. And you don't want that space to be taken away. Okay? You become so strong and independent in your own space. Like a subconscious mind of yours is just trying to push away whoever is coming into your life. So this is where you need to be aware of. Don't push yourself away from these um, potential options that really want to date you. I feel this one person is very much into you. But you may, the part of you that's very dis defensive about allowing someone to share your your life with is creating that block that mind inside of you you know why because you become so strong and powerful in your own position that you don't really feel that you need anyone but you do need love so that might create that blockage in your life you have to be careful about okay what else Let me know who this person is. It's all about, I feel it's you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this person is not an ordinary person. You may not them take you may not take them serious in the beginning, but 
you will find out how rich they are or how successful they are that you're pushing away. So you're lucky to have attracted someone that's successful and sees that worth in you. Okay. And I'm definitely seeing you finding the truth and realizing that this is not an ordinary person. Some of you in 26, some of your person is 26. But what I'm seeing over here is that you're doing good money wise, but your person is also very lucky for you because they're rich and they can help you. Okay. They can be with you. They can be your guide. They can, you can be their guide. So it's like you guys are like win-win for each other. That's beautiful. Gemini. Then we have, yes, they will ask for a chance in love. So you need to keep an open mind because maybe initially you'll be like, ah, maybe I don't want this. Or you're like, okay, I don't like the people. Like, I don't like to date such people. But you may not know that when you get to know this person on a deeper level, it's like, whoa i never knew this person is so rich so you guys will definitely give each other a chance and relationship i feel your family has been talking to you about when you're gonna get married or when are you gonna find love that makes you happy so this is a time where your family is going to be super happy for you finding the truth in your life the love in your life and you will find the stability with this person Okay, so get ready for this new chapter because someone is definitely asking for a chance in a relationship with you. So look out for it. I have also added some advice for you. Both the things are talking about confidence. So I feel like somewhere, maybe I shouldn't say it, but that might be like important for you guys to know, maybe for some of you to know that the only way to get into a beautiful relationship here is to have that confidence. Maybe you've lost the part of you that feels confident about, yes, the relationship will go forward. Yes, this will work out. A part of you is just kind of given up in a relationship matters. So here, have confidence. If this doesn't work out, next will. But don't lose your confidence. Don't lose yourself for someone specific that is not living up to your expectations. It's not your problem. It's theirs. So here, it's talking about you being confident about yourself. And your person would really like your confidence. That's what I'm seeing. Between the two worlds. Yes, as I was telling you, that there is something that's distracting you. Okay, it could be anything that's distracting you and stopping you or weighing you down. And that is what is delaying the whole process. So once you're in this single-minded energy, which is coming after a proper closure, you will find your direction. It will be all smooth and easy and you will have that uh, vision of like, this is my goal and this is what I want to have and I will have it. So that's when it, it will come like that. Gemini. Some of you might be doing something that's related to wellness, health, okay? Or it's talking about you need to take care of your health or wear jade crystals. They're really, uh, they're really gonna be good for you and you're gonna love it because I'm seeing health is something that you have to be careful about, not allowing yourself to be around those draining energies, energy vampires. You might be doing something that's related to medical field or it's about healing, but you will be doing awesome in your work. So a jade crystal will help. You can get it from me as well. I do have them. No need to worry. Everything is going to be perfect. Everything is going to work out in your favor. All right. Let me have more tarot messages because you guys will be more satisfied when I do more tarot than Oracle. So we're going to get more messages. Two of Wands. The Temperance. Okay. Okay. Meditation. Keep doing it. I feel like this person is on its way towards you and very soon they will be asking you out 
so keep yourself in that um, stress-free state of mind to be dating this person and exploring this new relationship and it's beautiful i feel maybe it's going to take a little bit of like two weeks to two months as well but your person might be traveling or there's someone that has seen you on social media and they're coming meeting you for some of you it's like when they see you they're going to be like texting you non-stop and asking you out and you'll be like playing a little hard to get but be easy on yourself and on this person that's something that i'm saying okay one last message to end this. Gemini, please. Reflection. So I feel like uh, what you want in your person is exactly what you are. Like what you are is exactly what your person will be. So raise your vibrations and be the perfect you. To attract a similar kind of a match because i'm definitely seeing this person is a very good match to you and you guys will be super happy when you get them a chance in love so that's about it gemini hope you enjoyed it take care of yourself bye